a man. Hello, hello, listeners. Welcome to the Wild Sea, where nobody remembers what Rome is because it was garbage. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, I'm and the one where it's 10:30. All right. That's true. You know, that you know is what's true. also fun is is Xerxes, the guy who plays Xerxes in 300. Same guy who was like the office crush from from um, Love, er, Love Actually. Hmm. Yeah. The girl who's got a crush on a guy in her office and they almost hook up and then she's got to deal with her brother. Same guy as Xerxes. Little Neat. tidbit for you. Hmm. And on that I've note... I've seen neither of those things. Uh, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> the marathon of Love Actually in 300. They go oh together. <laughs> All right. Let's... Sorry. Hi, listeners. Okay. Are you ready? Are we ready? We're doing this. Okay. Welcome to Sponsored by Nobody. This week, sponsored by Long Car Rides. They're fun only once. It is 2022, and you're listening to Leaves in the Jungle, Season 2, Episode 17. I didn't say the month. It's April. I didn't write the month down. It's Episode 17, and it's April. It's Wild Sea. You you guys know we're here. We're Episode 17. We do this every week. You know what's going on. Um, Thank God. So I'm... She I know what's going on. <laughs> I'm Ian, the Firefly, and we have... I'm Austin, playing Zitsiyaku, the Cello Cray. Sam's playing Rook, the Ardent. Dylan, playing Jisan, the Gao. I'm Jonathan, playing Belt, the Slug Person. Excellent. And today we have a delightfully wonderful uh, guest star who is the better half of an old guest star. Yeah, I'll say that. I'll say that. It's the better half of an old guest star. It's not really. It's the worst half. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> better half. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, guest star, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Caitlin, the better half, and I'm playing Petra. And the, the other half that we are referring to was... Um, I forget what they called themselves because I don't think they used their name for reasons because they're funny like that. But they were the political um, cult leader mushroom person. Who tried to steal their, their children. Yeah, and Jison yeah. now has their arm. As, as yeah, <laughs> The back of his head. Yeah, yeah. yeah Jison's ponytail arm. is now is, is the cult leader's arm. Yeah. Where are the good guys? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad yes, guy. It's from a bad are. guy. It's totally legit. Yeah, it's if it's a worse that bad guy it than you, then you're the good guy by proxy. Yeah, that's that works. Yeah, yeah. by proxy is basically <laughs> our Latin uh, motto. I, I have a thing about that, but I'll wait until our own stories. Yeah, I'll yeah. wait until we're not recording. <laughs> by proxy. Excellent. Um. So we're going to start with uh, our unsetting question. And the question is going to be, what is like, what is the gift you give to kids on their coming of age? Mm. Like when they, when they become an adult, what is, what is the common, yeah. What is the common like quinceanera or 16 year old or whatever adulting birthday gift? Bar mitzvah. Coming yeah, out into society. Yeah, what's what's the what's the wild sea gift like that? The, yeah. Honestly, a I safety harness. Oh. oh, a safety harness. I feel like that's like your well, you made it to kindergarten. Well, <laughs> see, that's kind of like half of it because it was it's a safety harness and a swift oh. kickoff to learn how to wild sea walk. <laughs> <laughs> Like, congratulations, you made it. Click, click. Why are we tying up? Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Just dangling there. You can make it. <laughs> I believe you. I don't, I don't see a bounce on those leaves like Ella, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say compass. Mm, compass? It's like compass a, a, really, a really fancy compass. I was thinking like, like pirate-style spyglass. Ooh. You gotta see what's around you. I like it. See, that's just like coming together for me, where it's like you've got the spyglass, you've got the compass, and obviously they give you a family map because it's obviously yeah. like a coming of age ritual for you to go yeah. out and take your your family's first spiritual voyage, right? Mm. So you like oh, so go it's a set. through your 
yeah, you go through your yeah. ancestors' footsteps and it's to like get you used to being on a ship and you know, you're gonna go out and be a wild sailor so someday so they they walk you through it sorta, of, you know what I mean? Nice, I like that. Ooh, that's fun. I mean I can't top that. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. That's just okay. really good. <laughs> just just add like, you know, and you get a little hat. Yeah. Like what do I do with that? Get the anesthetic, boy. <laughs> You'll need it one day, I promise. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> lost, lost my forearm. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Peg leg it is. <laughs> you can put all sorts of attachments on, it's great. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Flask. Um, I mean, <laughs> sword. Uh, um. Yeah. So, I won't do what did we do last session because with the cameos, it's kind of irrelevant. Uh, but we are moving to a new reach for this cameo. It's a it's a whole new reach, which means. <laughs> You guys get to describe. I need someone to describe the local trees. I want it to be like just epic willow trees with like just like seas, like rows upon rows of like the super thick dangly vines. Like you can like Tarzan your way, like like almost like if have, if you've ever gone to like one of those walk through light show things and they've got a section for kids where it's like dangling light cables and you're actually mm. a little bit afraid because there's just children running around and they're going to smack you in the <laughs> face with these dangling light cables that are heavy yeah like 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 it's like that just a sea of the dangling willow vines that are strong enough for you know an average size adult species to climb up like Tarzan Okay. Uh, and then what is the, like, fruit or vegetable or berry that's common around here? Oh, boy. Fruit, vegetable, or berry. Uh, I'm thinking avocados. But, okay. like, smaller seeds. why it's the best spot to live yeah it's like it's one of the few things the fruit yeah, yeah it's, it's like one of those things in the wild sea that's it's kind of like the uh gosh what was it like the strawberry chocolate or the chocolate strawberries mm. that were just mm. raspberries gr- chocolate raspberries yeah. it's like that where it's just like wow this is just a better thing than the pre burden sea yeah. yeah this only improved are they yeah. like normal sized avocados which is smaller like, like yeah apple seed size seed? and they're easy to just pick out yeah, but nice. do they do they just straight up taste like guacamole without doing anything to them? Uh, they do if you let them get a little bit past ripe. Nice. You Ooh. know, instead of like not yet, not yet, not yet, ready, too late. It's not yet, not Ooh. yet, not yet, ready, guacamole. Yes, there we go. Even better. I almost want to say too, like if you um if you because gra- you know how sometimes you can graft fruit trees onto each other if you do mm-hmm. that. Then it will just start growing the little bits of like pepper or onion or whatever you grafted into it, like <laughs> right into the flesh of it. Ooh. So like you open it up and it's already got its little bits of, of other flavors in there. If you if you successfully grafted it with another tree. I've, yeah. Nice. I like it. Um okay, then we need a uh we need a small or medium-sized animal or rodent or bird or whatever. What's the local, like, critter that's around here? Okay. The fun. I've got it. Mm. Okay, so they're like hummingbirds, but they're like the size of, uh, like, Jack Russell Taylor, the size of wishbone. Okay. 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 And... Super into nectar and whatnot, but what they do is they 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 evolved like hive on the tall or the tall pines. No, that's not what they're called. Um, tall shank. That's it. Tall shanks, and um, you know that shimmer that like uh, honeybees do. Mm-hmm. They sometimes like wave across to defend themselves. 
they do that at a range, it looks like it's just a bustling uh, port. Or like a bustling... Uh, oh my gosh, the word is escaping me. Encampment? No, more than encampment. Like a village or a town? Yeah, outpost. That's it. Outpost. Hmm. It's like a, there's a bus. It looks like a bustling outpost with the shimmering. Ooh, neat. Yeah, that's fun. Giant humming Jack Russell Terrier sized hummingbirds, and lives in hives. Nice. I like it. Yeah. Um, Our birds are bees. <laughs> oh, actually, I think I know where these came from. <laughs> uh, so the last thing is is what is the local landmark what is the like you gotta see this or this thing sees you <laughs> <laughs> well now mm. I'm just trying to think of what could have only eyes We've already got all legs, so why not all eyes? <laughs> he only has two eyes. A potato <laughs> the size of a mountain. Oh. <laughs> just one Second. giant potato. With huge, no, just... just like tenderly eyes. Okay, no, I got no, it. Just... Mm. No, it's my turn. It's my turn. Okay, yeah, go so ahead. All of the trees came together. You guys know what a rat king is? Oh, yeah. Yes. So, you mean like from the Nutcracker? I like where this is going. No, not no. from the Nutcracker. <laughs> no, from Hilda. Yeah, this Nutcracker would not be for kids if the Rat King that we're talking about was in it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so occasionally, all of their tales, it, like it's it's urban legend, myth, mm -hmm. wives' tale, whatever you want to call it, but basically, a bunch of rats get their tails tied in a knot, and now you have this giant ball of rats that become a hive mind. Oh yes, yes, I do know that one. So, basically, all of the vines from these various willow trees have spun themselves into a giant wooden orb that has, like, weathered and become just, like, this giant, uh, giant, like, it occasionally will, like, sprout off into new life and smaller trees will grow over it. But there's this giant, like, vine orb the size of a mountain in the middle of the reach. Ooh, I like it. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Vaguely reminds me of the swamp in Avatar. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so this is the reach you guys find yourself in. You came here because you heard that the legendary chart that Rook needs in order to make the ship into a transformer, into some kind of mech, beast, titanic thing... The, the one of the charts that you could use is here. You've you've heard rumors. You've heard, you know, tales. Fable and, and legend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Potentially even it legend. Comes through whispers. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. It's it's here. And so you find yourselves in what everyone keeps calling a, you know, office. They're like, oh, it's the president's office. It's, yeah, it's the president's office. It's a throne room. It's <laughs> it's just a throne room. Like, it's, it is gaudy as all get out. There's, you know, giant pictures up uh, and, like, you know, gold everywhere. Uh, oh, gosh, actual oh. gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a Diet Coke button? Yes. Yes, there is. <laughs> There's like a balcony where all the uh, all the uh, onlookers can sit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. It's it is it is ridiculous, and lounging on a throne of cushions is Petra. What does Petra look like? What is she doing? Lounging on a just glorious throne of cushions is a three foot tall snow white rabbit with hands scowling. Yay. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is she scowling with bright red eyes? 
She's a white rabbit. White rabbits usually have red eyes, yes. Oh, that makes it extra worse. (laughs) Maybe she's not scowling at us. Now, (laughs) not only is she scowling, she is also stroking lovingly her pet blue ring tiger, which is curled up on her lap, also scowling. How big is the tiger? They're the last one. Kitten sized. They're kitten sized. (laughs) Which, remember, because the, the one you guys fought in the belly of the beast was a giant. Oh, and you, right, got, right. you guys were all like, whoa, those normally are like six inches, maybe a foot at most big. So this one sitting in her lap is just a little like six inch kitten. Yeah. It's adorable. It's got its eight legs. It's, it, it also has white fur with the beautiful, like bright, bright blue rings. And each at, at the end of each leg is a single suction cup with like a spike in it, but it also has little cat claws. Mm-hmm. And oh, it's man. it has, remember it has the uh, mantis jaws, like its bottom jaw splits in two. It's, it's such a shame that that she's she's part of the skin farmer. It's another child we have to save. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess I, I, I stand there like halfway between, oh no, we're in trouble, but also, aww, everything about this is adorable. <laughs> I'm like, really want to take you, I genuinely want to take you seriously as a threat because I know you are, but also, aww, like everything. You, your kitty, so cute. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Did, uh, did, did we just show up here, or yeah, you guys? You guys have like. Here. Were we? Did we guys, come here, or were we brought here? <laughs> uh, you guys. So how you ended up in this throne room office? Quotation marks. Uh, you you've been asking a lot of questions around town because mm-hmm. again, you you knew that there was something here, and after asking a bunch of questions, people just kind of brought you here. You know, cool. in the way that they're just like, you need, like, if you're going to ask these questions, this is what happens kind of thing. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah. So. They finally brought us to the person in charge. Yeah, did you, we finally got brought to the manager. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We've been waiting for this for so long. <laughs> just kind of weird. I never Hiya. thought that anybody would actually do it. <laughs> I just thought we'd get pushed around from middleman to middleman to even more middler man. I never understood. We just kept threatening to never come back. And then they just <laughs> would not. <laughs> Excellent. You, you look very in charge. I am you, very in charge. With your chair. Hi. Um, I, I'm looking, I am looking for a chart. Do, do you have the charts? I have many things. Yay! Oh, I um, specifically, I, I'm I'm looking. I am looking for for the chart. Um, I'm, I'm I'm told it's in the shape of like a, a thin plate. I think is what the the fables describe. Comes in a box, and and it is is the the legends of. Oh man, now I'm trying to figure out what they should be called in this world. So they'd be iron bound, right? Yeah, the le- the legends of the ancient Ironbounds um, is the chart that I am looking for. Do you do you have that one? Hmm. Possibly, I would have to check. My my troves run deep. Cool. No, we'll wait. <laughs> Oh totally oblivious. <laughs> that, that sounds great. I mean, if you want, we can help. Um, I've, I've got a tiny army that can help. Uh, but yeah, just point us in the right direction. We we, we can trade. We can we 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 can, we can cook you a heck of a meal. Looks around at friends. Eh, eh, eh. Just, yeah, just what? Just just let us know, like how we we can help to to get that thing. You seem stressed. Are you okay? 
like I'm getting the sinking feeling that we're going to end up executed before the end of this conversation. <laughs> Where we're going, we wouldn't know. I'm not usually the one who does the talking, guys. <laughs> who brought you to me? How did you arrive in my inner sanctum? Yes. Yeah. So much middle management. Eventually, we got here. So they That's sent you up questions. to me, knowing you're not ready, knowing you would likely die. Wait, what? Hmm. Why? Why you? You just brought up death. Why did you just bring up death? I'm not here for death. I'm here for stuff. My stuff. I mean, if we trade, though, then you get different stuff. I can't imagine you have anything I would want. Well, I, I look them over are. fully up and down, taking in their clothing, their lack of fancy, shiny things. I take so much insult to that. I am whoa, whoa, so whoa, whoa. gaudy. I am basically a Halloween Town store in April. <laughs> I am a beacon in the night. Gondor calls for aid, <laughs> mostly for crimes against fashion. <laughs> but I assume a lack of real gold, which I'm sitting surrounded by. So. Who uses real gold? It's it's shiny do. and doesn't do anything. I mean, it bends pretty well. How Flatten useful real is good. that? You know, sometimes good you need conductor. to... Yeah. Um, I'm sure we can find something in our trove of stuffs. Just, just give us a chance. Behold my stuff. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Um, do you starts looking through pockets? Um, I, I have, I haven't, okay, well, that's an old fern. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Do you, do you like coloring? Because I've got coloring pencils. I've got a luscious bar of soap here um, that's in really good condition. Um, I've got, I've got a whole mug of mimosa if you want the mimosa. It's it's a good mimosa. We have a good bartender on our show. Oh, it sounds well. like an irresponsible auntie trying to get back the fistful of something her niece took. <laughs> Can I just? Where was the mimosa stored? <laughs> I have pockets. You have a it's mug of mimosa than... in your pocket. I mean, it's a yes. flask mug. Okay, a flask. Okay, okay. Well, no, it's it's a it's there. a mug with a lid. You know, like a travel mm. mug. Hmm. I don't want your pocket mimosa. I just started shaking it like it's a like it's a bar shaker thing, you know, like eh? okay, but, but but soap, man. I mean, look at look at this luscious bar of soap. You think I can't afford soap? This is a pristine from the undergrowth bar of soap. It's all it's all like pink and <laughs> blue with bits in it and stuff. Sounds like dirt soap. It's it's luscious, luscious. Oh. Belt clears his throat and uh, says, well, "Excuse me, but perhaps I might interest you." And he he uh, snaps his fingers, and the uh, a carpet of guinea pigs, oh my, <laughs> hustles into the room and drops something uh, about as long as a person is high. And uh, so like about feet. as tall on one end, but lower than the other. On the other, with a with a slight decline from the tall end to the low end. Uh, it's covered by a tarp, and he says, "I found this delightful <laughs> artifact of the pre emergency Are you perhaps- offering her a mystery box? <laughs> no, I'm going to show her what it is. I like it. <laughs> okay. It's called showmanship. Okay, okay. I mean, a box a bo- is a box. <laughs> this is a mystery box. It okay, can even be a what? boat. Okay, you know what? If you guys are going to be like this. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm offering a mystery box. Fine. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> no, okay. I know so badly what's in 
<laughs> oh, okay, okay. We all just gonna... like, the curtain to look in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have this delightful artifact from the pre-emergency, <clears throat> and I present to you. And he slowly pulls the uh, tart back to reveal a pinball machine. Ooh. And he flicks Ooh. a button. And it turns on. Don't ask where the power source is. <laughs> <laughs> that is I forgot real what shiny. I forgot what pinball machine it was. We, I think we said it was like a Metallica one or something. I yeah, it can be a Metallica oh, one. I think it was a band one. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> yeah. Metallica was pretty plastic. Yeah, I'll go with that. Is mm-hmm. either that or Aqua? they're basically the same band at this point (laughs) (laughs) oh (laughs) this is the hill i'm going to die on (laughs) i miss aqua so much (laughs) like sometimes i just wish i could go back to that phase in my life they're still touring you can see them i saw them yeah, but it's not the same because it's not the 90s. <laughs> it's you who's changed. I know! <laughs> also the world uh, around me. Yeah, this is oh, pinball, this is pinball. some pretty impressive pre-verdency tag. It is pretty impressive. Petra continues to stroke her blue ring tiger. That is quite... An intriguing display between the soap and the the pinball machine. Is there anything else you have to tempt me? I understand you very much want my my treasure. I I, I overcome my my insult, my pride, <laughs> and look at Rook. She's such such a good one minded. I, I I like her so much. I walk forward. I, I present to you the last Twinkie, an <laughs> artifact singular from the age begotten from our minds, <laughs> a sustenance from the gods long past. The guinea pigs all gasp. <laughs> I just picture a thousand tiny voices. <laughs> One of them the in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Just Avatar for all things. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Petra looking intrigued. Intrigued? <laughs> <laughs> Sit in the back. Don't get insulted and take back your offer. Don't get insulted and take back your offer. Don't get insulted. <laughs> yes. I'm going to open up the... Uh the drawer in my leg and pull out probably as much of the allspice as I would keep on me at any given time. Because mm. I have many is, pounds. Yeah, that's true. Allspice is incredibly rare for uh, Rook. Or not Rook, sorry, for Petra. Mm-hmm. It's, we, we've it's just, incredibly rare for everyone. <laughs> yes, but I, I'm just saying like Petra... It's not rare for anymore. Kate, Caitlin doesn't <laughs> know this outside of character, but um, inside of character, you would know that this is the allspice, the most yes. rarest of spices. This makes saffron look like pepper. Yeah. Mm. Makes grammar be forgotten. Yeah. And this is more than you'd usually see in like 10 lifetimes. And I'm yeah. just going to add it to the pile. <laughs> just loosely. <laughs> it's just sprinkle it off. It's just staying <laughs> on the top of the pinball machine. No, no, no. I'm time. literally it's standing sand. there and salt. I'm doing, I'm doing salt day with it. I was no, just I'm about to say. Yes. I was just imagining like you set up a line of it on top. <laughs> <laughs> just he salt bays it and then snorts a line. <laughs> All this could be yours, and I'm leaning on the pile currently. <laughs> I was going to say, what is one of us going to offer themselves up? I mean, <laughs> just for the night. <laughs> I thought about it, but I was like, ah, uh, uh, let's let's not rush. <laughs> Start with dinner, 
and pocket mimosas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't want the pocket mimosa. I thought we've been over this. Take that off of the pile. <laughs> I started sipping my pocket mimosa. <laughs> Um, Upon seeing the the salt bay of allspice, Petra sort of pauses, stroking the blue ring tiger and leans forward, sniffing, making sure it's the real deal, and then presses a button on her throne, and the door behind you closes. And above you, skylights open. So... So this is a deal? This is how you set up your party atmosphere, right? What do you need? This is to descend the disco ball, right? Petra, what 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 do they see above them looking up in the skylights? Well, there's certainly lights attached to the lasers attached to the iron jaw rays. Just wait. the school of them. Wait, the wait, do you have freaking iron jaw j- iron jaw rays with freaking lasers on their head? <laughs> I love this moment with everything I have. Um. You have become too valuable to for me to allow to leave. What no, you can let us leave. The stuff is right there. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't know if you want to do that. I have a lot of whispers that are very questionable in nature. Just this is getting this can get really bad. You should just take the pinball machine and give us the thing and we can all go. Or I could keep everything. <laughs> or I could just what? say things about wooden things and sediment. I don't Who hate hurt you. you. Yeah, I don't hate you. But then you're, you're I just want you to know on us. I just want you to know that this is nothing personal. It's purely business. This isn't but, business though. Business is trade and commerce. This is just straight up murder. <laughs> this is me keeping all the wealth and everybody else can deal with it. I'm not going to lie. But, this is kind of we this didn't is cool. throw services <laughs> on the table. If you kill us, then you cannot access all the cornucopia of services we can offer as living subjects. Somehow, I don't think you would serve me quite like I would want you to. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's like 14 with, weeks with worth of people who can probably prove of that wrong. Devotion. <laughs> Sorry, which? Yeah, no, my my statement still stands. <laughs> see, I why do you start want... sizing up my crewmates to see which one of them is the most desirable in between, you know, the slug person, <laughs> the spider, <laughs> spirit of Halloween, and a mushroom with many, many hands? I'm like, uh, oh no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I think I, I I love that I still I still love that like none of us have compat- compatible genitalia at all like but what you know what nature f- life uh finds a way okay. <laughs> <laughs> um what 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 is it that you desire I mean you, you give it give us a chance like like ser- like what 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 do you need I don't need anything. What do you want? I'm the most powerful individual on this reach, nay, on the whole wild sea. What could well, you possibly give me that I don't already have, or can just take by killing you? Reach aside. <laughs> <laughs> I've never you done it. to kill her? <laughs> what? It's, it's on my bucket list. <laughs> well, I'm not technically a king. And it's not personal. It's not you specifically. It's any royal. Hmm. But well, uh, I we should look forward an... to personally exterminating you. We can do throw a tiger at us. I mean, it's a blue ring tiger. It's poisonous. I mean, That's it's least... very poisonous. We would be super dead. Oh, I forgot about how poisonous those are. <laughs> Dang. Patrick <laughs> continues to stroke her little kitten. <laughs> hug it into infinity. Have, have you ever considered the option of, of, you know, not killing us, just calm, well, calming what, down? 
Well, what do you want to do with lies. with this this plate that you are after? What is your end goal? Why should I even bother to consider helping you? Well, quick question. You said you're you, you're one of the most powerful forces on the Wild Sea. Are you familiar with the cabal of gangsters that are skin farming everywhere? Oh yeah, they pay me well. Dang. Cool, great guys. <laughs> It's uh, like immediately just chin faces. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying, I mean, it's only a matter of time till they try and wonder why they should pay you. We could also pay you well. Well-er. Are you, tell- are you trying to tell me that you have deeper coffers than a cabal? I mean, once we yes. destroy them and take yes. all their stuff, we will. <laughs> and my You're chroma literally... glow just just starts flashing all the colors. <laughs> You're, so we're we're rich enough for you to immediately murder us, but we're not rich enough to convince you that we're rich enough to not kill us on the other end. Like you're asking how deep our pockets are. It's like they're. That depends. <laughs> Considering that there is no actual direct commerce, I'm. It, I mean, sorry, malevolent and supreme demon queen. I throw myself upon your mercy. <laughs> we we are more like an investment, um, a speculative mm. investment. <laughs> to, uh, but the line goes up. I mean, <laughs> we're currently contracted already. If you want to check our credentials, guys, are are you really? Are, are we gonna cross? like double play the the skin farmers here at their own game that's it's not uh well how sassy would it be if we got the white rabbit to like turn out against the people who like to steal things oh be so sassy and like i don't know about you but we've we've given some pretty impressive digs imagine what else we could find for you with what we already know and what about what money can't buy? Or can't be taken by force? Like all the fortresses of the Cabal that we won't need. Right? Also, I do like fortresses. But I have quite an impressive one here already. I can about, only stay in one space at a time. Just, just throwing this out there. Genuine friendship, not based in reciprocity. I have no need for that. Are you sure? Yeah, she's like really rich. <laughs> I'm like really rich. <laughs> she could just like, like you never that she's get a... lonely. You're never me... like, uh, I just want to have a sleepover with friends who aren't gonna like, you know, prank me while I'm asleep. They don't let, prank let me, me it... while I'm asleep. I pay them not to. Yeah, let me uh, put it this way: I know she's an ally to the skin farmers, but if she was having a party and invited me, I would be there. I mean, definitely yes. <laughs> After all this, all these like little conversations about like, oh, we can't trust you know, you can't trust the skin farmers. You know, they just pay you. Look at what they, they steal everything skin. I'm gonna use the whisper. It's not your friend. To Ooh. put that little niggling worm or a little tendril of mushroom tendril into her brain of maybe they're not. Ooh. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, Petra, as this whisper is cast or as this whisper kind of like crosses the air towards you. Yeah, you you. I mean, what are you feeling when you hear that they're not, maybe not your friend? I mean, I didn't really consider them my friend if that's the word we're using. Mm-hmm. Like, like Trustworthy? I don't think Petra trusts anybody, to be fair. I think she thinks that she can predict the skin farmers and that sort of she understands their motivations and therefore doesn't feel overly threatened with the business deal that they have going on. So far. So far, fair. Whispers. Mm-hmm. So my question here is, 
this negotiation is basically at the point where everything that we've offered has been enough to make her decide to kill us and nothing else that we say or do is going to get us out of this situation. So do I take off my shirt, grab a bat and go hometown hero on these, this one octopus and small rabbit. And the laser mounted. Well, I mean, they're going to, they're going to start murdering me no matter what I do. It's just you and me, kid. <laughs> how uh, how confident do you feel? I mean, pretty confident. I imagine you probably are. I'm not that confident. <laughs> um, but I'm yeah. also not the one with a lot of options here. Petra, you have your aspects that you can use at any time should you choose. And you have whispers you can use at any time should you choose. Mm-hmm. Just, yeah. Um, yeah, all that talk about maybe the, the whisper thrown at me has sort of shaken me slightly enough that I sort of want to get things moving. I'm, I'm done with idle chatter. I don't like feeling like I don't know where things are going. And so all that talk about murder and things, I'm going to use my whisper of, I expect you to die. And try and shake them back. Okay. Um, when you shaken, <laughs> not stirred. done, <laughs> not stirred. Uh, I will be as stirred as she needs me to be. No, <laughs> her whole thing is Bond villain. We we're, we're thank you. Yeah. A thank Bond you. villain. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. You got a Bond villain. That's so good. <laughs> I love it. Um. Yeah. You can. Uh, you can use the whisper. Bond. That's why I'm like, I don't want to start combat until I hear all of this. <laughs> well, I can uh, only yeah. fit so many direct quotes in here. I can't fit the word James Bond into any of this. <laughs> it doesn't work. Uh, yeah, no, The uh, you can use the whisper, I expect you to die. And what's going to happen when you use that whisper? Um, probably some dramatic lighting. Like, and they... <laughs> Just stealing our plays. Um, I think they, I want, like, it to be sort of like a, a vibe shift of, like, we were chatting happily, but no, 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 now I expect you to die. Mm. And yeah. so they need to be. Okay, I, I got gotcha. so, yeah, yeah. As you. So, yeah, as you say, oh, no, 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 I expect you to die. Um, the... Like outside, it was noon, and it like the clouds roll over, and it goes darker, and all the lights in here dim a little bit, and the shark, the iron jaw rays with their lasers on their heads, start swimming closer and closer to the giant open skylights. As the skylights open even farther and farther to the point where you know that those iron jaw rays could just like dive down and like bite you and swoop back up easy peasy like there's lots of room in here for that um yeah it's it's getting scary in here it's the vibe has shifted thank you <laughs> hold on it would take an act of grog to, fi- <laughs> to fix this <laughs> i use my whisper act of grog Excellent. You have a um, active <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> nice. Uh, it's, what? It's one of my two remaining pirate whispers. I also have two other whispers that are just marked as whisper right now, but nice. we'll come up with something later. Um, as you as you use active grog, what what happens? So it's definitely going to take an active grog in order to like smooth this over a little bit. <clears throat> so instead of uh, instead of trying to sway the uh the the the, the monarchal president <laughs> um it's more like trying to smooth things over a little bit like okay hey things have gotten a little heated maybe we should take a moment and consider the possibility 
that you could be being paid by both parties. You pull out like a beer to share a beer with them, or to get. Uh, I pull. Broad? I I pull. Uh, the the you know what the uh, the guinea pigs leave the room for a moment and then come right back in with like an actual. Uh, uh, h- how do we store our um our special stuff? Oh, our our rainbow moonshine stuff in barrels. In, oh. It's got to be in, in barrels. barrels. Yeah. yeah. Well, wait, we're gonna barrel the doors that. Were locked. The doors were closed. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? Guinea I used a word. Small. So it. Yeah. You know what? No, I, I have an idea. I opened the back of the jukebox, or not the jukebox, the, uh, oh, the, 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 the pinball machine, and pull out a hidden cask. Oh. Excellent. Like a St. Bernard <laughs> cask. I was going to save this until later, but I see that things have gotten more heated than I had intended. I had a. Uh, Hey, how about we stop and have a quick drink before uh, things get out of hand? I can promise you that this is something singular. Well, two places have this. And only two in the entire wild sea. (laughs) Do I know what this is? Like, can I, like... He'll he'll, uh, pour, I don't know, pour a glass... Or two, a couple of glasses, you know, do the thing where he's like, "Oh, look!" Like takes a sip and like actually drains like half of it. He's like, "There," and like not poisoned. <laughs> Definitely not an assassin's teapot. <laughs> I love tea. <laughs> <laughs> would you... Would Petra know what that is? I don't think so like it 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 might be a mystery have you ever heard of the legendary rainbow fruit of course i've you heard can of decide if petra's heard of that she, she's heard of rainbow fruit she's heard of all sorts of things excellent <laughs> it's it's rainbow fruit mead it does sound delicious tended to um, by the legendary ape guardian themselves Mm. Um, I press another button and some goons come out because obviously I'm not going to get off my throne. Oh, obviously. <laughs> no, and, and he's 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 not approaching the throne. Like he he like walks in front of the pinball machine, but like no, he's not. Yeah, he's not uh, crossing the room. A bunch of <laughs> goons come out, and they're just all types of just goons. And yeah, yeah one of them will like brings a silver platter like silver platter plated in gold um Mm -hmm. and he he'll take the cup put it on that bring it to another goon who will take another platter move it to that platter and then bring it over to petra and probably somewhere in there pours it into a fancier goblet Yeah, yeah yeah exactly like like there's probably a dozen goons that handle this cup before it goes to petra and they all do some kind of elaborate, like, pseudo ritually thing to just make it more ostentatious and ridiculous. Like, it it keeps going to a bigger platter and a bigger cup and a bigger like goblet, and it's got more like jewels on it and things. It's just getting more and more ridiculous as it gets to Petra until it's in this like really fancy like dish. What does it look like? Is it just like rainbow colored? Yeah, the mead? Yeah. Like yeah. what does this look like? Uh I would assume it's rainbow colored. Or the color that's most pleasing to you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it the shade shifts into whatever color is most pleasing to you. I swirl it around and you all see that it's like a blood red. <laughs> I sniff it. (laughs) A color to match your eyes. (laughs) Among other things. Make sure not to spill any on your fur. It might stain. I think only one of us bleeds red. (laughs) (laughs) Awkwardly look at Rook. Thanks. (laughs) Kind of shuffle over in front of her. Um, I give it, like, a, a good sniff, a good look. 
I take a sip. <clears throat> it is delightful. Gotcha. He's on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's so on you. We've been immune the whole time. I've been building up an immunity to g sons cooking. <laughs> I've, been bu- I've been building up an immunity to g sons bullshit. <laughs> they were both we- poisoned. <laughs> I like how we all talked about, like, every single one of us talked about taking an aspect to become immune to, uh, to the poison spore, or to the spores. I haven't. I don't know if any of you have. No. My character's not smart enough for that. I've got the mask. It helps. Doesn't help when you ingest it. Yeah, are you sucking your food through the mask? Like... (laughs) <laughs> no. What is this? Early 2020? <laughs> Forget she has the mask on. Eat some wool, you know? <laughs> um, none of the goons have left the room, by the way. They're all still there. What do the goons oh, look like? Yeah. Oh, just fully like like well, they're henchmen. Love it. Just just solid classic slabs of henchmen. Nice. Um No, I think I still want all of your stuff, including your ship. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought you were just gonna kill me. I did not know you were threatening to take my ship. Uh, yeah. Well, if you're dead, who else gets it? The as children, him. obviously. We have a will. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> if I kill you, I take all of your things. Your and the more wealth you show me. color is your fur. Yeah, have you never had to have power of eternity? Eternity? Eternity. Like, you know? <laughs> power of eternity. Dude, I'm about to... I'm, I'm seriously about to give this rabbit the power of eternity. <laughs> I just... Yeah, a You're window in my opens. reach now. I have... The law is, is me. I am the law. A window opens and you can see goons marching towards your ship. <gasps> the children. Um, They're threatening the bees, Rook. I know, I know. They declared war on the bees. I know, I know. I'm just, I just feel like, yeah, no, all I got right now is so, so I have a whisper cold fury. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm I'm going to whisper cold fury and um, how do I want to play this? Let's see. For coldness. I feel like. Suddenly, a very icy wind starts blowing through the air, um, mm-hmm. taking that whisper with it, and it's stirring up the bees that are on the ship in mass. Mm-hmm. And a swarm of just not taking any of that garbage bees just starts clouding around the ship. Um okay daring those henchmen to get closer as well as the bees that are on my person have now started swarming around me similarly okay. and i don't yeah. know maybe they get cold damage the, now i don't know <laughs> the, yeah i'm gonna do a point of damage to those iron jaw rays as they as the weather outside get that's fair frightful, frightful? And and the fire inside is not so delightful. The fire inside me is delightfully (laughs) kill. (laughs) Excellent. Um, Yeah, as the bees like start to swarm around the ship to protect the ship, the the ship is, it it can hold its own for a little bit once the goons get there. Um, The goons are not there yet. The bees are also doing their little bee dance communication with with Dokus and Andy and the the kids. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. the, the steed bees, they're being informed. The bee steeds. The bee steeds. Yeah. The bee steed yeah. boys. Yeah, the bee, <laughs> bee steed boys. Plus Anse. Yeah. Yeah. I hate us, but I love them. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
Uh, yeah, you're unbelievable. <laughs> your uh, Petra, your your iron jaw rays they they look a little cold and sad, and your you notice the weather outside as Rook kind of glares at you a little bit for threatening her beautiful ship. The so the weather gets icy and cold. And I just kind of coldly say to her, I'm like, look, there is still a solid deal on the table now. Should we take the deal off the table or should we make a trade? I'm going to add large and in charge to that and increase her mm -hmm. presence to fill the room. Nice. Yeah. The cold like dims the torches and the snow like whirls around her and the bees kind of blend in at the same time, creating this like flash of dark bees and white flat and white snow. Also, I Your just... Presence. I just start, like, calmly and menacingly patting scraps in front of me. I'm going to mark a point, two points of damage on Petra. It's This is scary stuff. Does sound scary. I'm going to, with this Titan-type person in front of me, I'm going to use my Whisper a Duel between Titans. Ooh. Um, and can fight. I com can I combine that with my evil laugh? Yes, you can. Please do. <laughs> so this the the wind is swirling, and you're becoming sort of larger and scarier. And I'm still sitting on my throne, stroking my blue ring tiger, and just. <laughs> which I recognize is a terrible evil laugh. I got to work on that. But no, 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 you got it. You got it. <laughs> it's, it's good. That works. I'm enraptured. And I take my, my tiger and I, I put it down and I, I stand up. I get up. You have my attention. All three fuzzy feet of her. I was about to say, oh, look, it's Agent Judy Hopps about to give us a ticket. Four feet, if you include the ears. <laughs> All of my, my goons standing around sort of watching me very carefully now that I've actually stood up and all I do is I reach out my hand and I give a thumbs down um as Petra gives you this thumbs down you're hit with this whisper a battle between titans and you're also hit by her evil laugh you're gonna take two points of mire rook as you see behind Petra Going back beyond any spirit you have ever seen, a near infinite spirit, back to like the first proto cell of life, the gods themselves have kind of come down and are standing behind Petra as the rabbits are a holy, are a almost holy deity in the wild sea here. Uh, and you know what? Everyone's going to take one point of mire from this. I already On, took uh, two. Do I? Take yeah. A no. Third? No. No. You don't need to take a third. <laughs> you um, bet. <laughs> every, everybody else is going to take one point. Come on! It was and, a um, scary laugh. <laughs> Zitzi. Zitzi, how much of Drock's journal have you read lately? Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll roll for that. Okay. Um, I don't have my dice on me because I'm getting my dice sack upgraded. So, to do the thing. How does one do the thing? Uh, exclamation point D and then six. So, we're going to go... Or exclamation point one D six. That's it. Well, let's see. I got one on instinct. Or tides. And two for... And one for study. So, two D six. A lot. You've read a lot. Excellent. A lot. Um, you're going to take another point of Meyer. Well, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> How is that a triumph? Oh, I succeeded in this ex endeavor. Because oh, you not reading the Elder Scrolls. Because even though, even, though you, even though you can't see spirits, you can see these spirits behind her. And you remember Drock's journal talking about how rabbits are somehow linked to the verdancy and 
that their thumbs up is the greatest blessing a sailor can ever receive. Therefore, the thumb, thumbs down is the worst curse a sailor can ever receive. Oh, great. Now we're cursed. <laughs> I don't believe in such things. She's a false rabbit anyways. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> She's so accusing me of being a hare and not a rabbit? Come on now. <laughs> I didn't see you shout Euelia once. <laughs> I mean, that's a fair point, actually. <laughs> Plus, it's it's April. You can't be a March Hare. <laughs> um, um, well, that was neat. Um, <laughs> too bad it's getting colder. I use cold storage to freeze those flying buggers up in the uh, in the sky. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay. you can totally hit them with cold storage. Stack uh, it up. The no. ice, yeah, they're gonna. The iron jaw rays go down as they're hit with, with the like. Uh, yeah, all the lasers go down too oh, as they're the all. Lasers. I was trying to figure out which of my specimens are salvage <laughs> I could use to make a convenient reflective thing. To... <laughs> you know? Now you can salvage a bunch of lasers. It back. Excellent. Ooh. Yeah. The. As the iron jaw rays get pelted by hail and snow, um, they're just they're going down and they're they're cold and frozen. Like one lands in the throne room, crashing down beside you guys. It's terrifying. Oh, what an unfortunate turn of event! <laughs> <laughs> um, my goons are like running around, making sure that I'm not getting like hit by debris or anything. Oh yeah, they're diving in front of like yeah, if, like not a single drop of snow or rain or hail has touched you as your goons like jump above you and like jump around you and like two have umbrellas out, <laughs> really <laughs> fancy ones. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> the kind that like as soon as they get touched by water, disintegrate, and so they have to get a new one. Ah. Uh. Nice. The bougie sugar umbrellas. Yeah, but like, I've got 50 of them. It's fine. <laughs> um, seeing that my my laser iron jaw rays are out of commission, I press another button. There are so many buttons on this throne. Um, and I get some <laughs> scarier goons. Yeah, so the it's goons... Scarier. Are any of these goons crocodile shaped? Yeah, the so okay. the goons before were, you know, Ardents and Chelicre and Mothrin and Ectus, you know, they they're, they're your your the average standard races. Yeah. Your standard yeah. races. These goons come out and there's like one guy is half shark, one guy's half crocodile, one guy's got like his the bottom half is squid and the top half is ardent. And you know, like these these are That's scarier groups. Isn't that just the guards from Emperor's New Groove? <laughs> I've been turned into a cow. Can I go home? <laughs> yes, you're excused, you're fair excused. enough. <laughs> Anybody else? No, no, no we're good. I'm, I'm still yeah. caught up on the fact that there's a street shark just mixed in with these guys. Also, mm -hmm. wait, if What's one of them the is, is octopus on the bottom, Arden on the top, that that's just Ursula. That's Ursula. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. scary goons. Soulmate. Yeah, scary goons. Okay, also, can sure. I just request that the crocodile one have, like, a really thick metal grill on his jaw? Sure. Yes. Done. Um, he, he also, I'd just like to point out, because I feel like you're all picturing a crocodile with, like, a proper neck so that his head, like, faces... Because, like... Crocodiles don't have necks. Oh, no. So, so his head just goes straight up? His head just, head just goes his straight head. up. His oh head just God. goes straight up. Crocodile. So, so he walks into the room. Everybody, Well, everybody else is, like, taking their stances. He walks in and then turns around so that the eyes on top of his head. Yeah, see. yeah, exactly. Oh, it's like sport a kiss all heroic, like, but backwards. I just uh, want to sure someone who's, like, you know, like, twisting all the way around, but now their butt cheeks are really sticking out, yeah. you know? No, he's doing, the, he's doing the, like, the like 
Black Widow Marvel like yeah. face in backwards yeah. butt out thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's I'm so glad we didn't just turn to violence immediately. We would have missed out on all of this. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Yeah. Um, I Heard feel it here, like, folks, she punched first. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I gotta send in the bees at some point to swarm her and her little cat too. Swarm of bees. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so yeah, you can you can use your cloud of bees. Uh, roll. What are you rolling? Um. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Petra, Can I'm gonna I get rattle you to roll her with it? Uh, what? Um, Sorry? Petra, you're going to roll bait, brace in the background. Uh, so you're going to roll four dice for that because you have three in brace and then you get one for your edge. But we'll get we'll get there in a minute. I'm just, if you get some dice ready or I can roll for you if you don't have dice ready. Yeah, maybe you um, roll for me. Okay, I'll roll for you. Rook, what are you, are you... Uh, rattle is not a good option here. I'm sorry. It could it could be if I'm rattling her. Uh, <laughs> mending maintenance adaptions. No. What about sense? Can I sense? Because that's another <clears throat> one I have a high <laughs> number. You in. you can hunt her. Okay, I guess. Uh, hunt, and then I'm also assuming sharp. You can convince her enough. with, um, grace. Grace is also a thing. You can convince her with sway, hunter sway. You sway her with violence. Um, I'm um, just, I'm just gonna hunt. Um, okay, and then you can use hunting for the non-violent solution. <laughs> probably, with, with violence, <laughs> probably Grace. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I've got two right now. Do I have any more? Yep. Um, you get one for your bees. <gasps> Yay! And that's it. Okay. And does my iguana flashing assist her at all? I can't no. see. Oh, heck yes! Oh, nice. What'd you roll? <laughs> Six with a twist. Six with a twist. Excellent. Um, what? yeah. So you're you're gonna do a bunch of damage. <laughs> and then I rolled for her in the background, so she's oh. gonna negate some of that damage with brace. Um. So she'll take some damage, but not a ton of damage. And then what's the what's the twist? As as your bees swarm Petra, what what is happening, Brooke? Describe the scene. Um, I mean, obviously I do the whole thing where my hand just sticks out with the cold fury in my eyes, and the bees just kind of like swarm out and surround her. Um, I didn't get farther than that in my brain imagination. I'm open to a twist if somebody's if somebody's got one. Um, um, the cat could take a few stings and run away, only to be you know, like you know, hits the tail, stepped on by a guard, who then get immediately gets attacked oh, by the cat, creating more chaos. No, oh, no, I've got a plan for the cat. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a complicated plan oh, no. here. We've set up a queen bee rivalry. You have a fluffer. I have a fluffer. There's only one way this goes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Whoa. Whoa. Orange mocha Fluffers. frappuccino. <laughs> 55. 55 is before 56. <laughs> Uh, the, 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 the twist is, yeah, maybe Scraps gets in on that too and then just starts like big dog growl menacing towards the kitty. Ooh, okay. Like Scraps is usually very yeah. floofy and, and friendly, but like have you, if you've ever seen like the cutest puppy like suddenly get that dog snarl growl thing and you're like, oh my gosh, when did you get terrified? Yeah. Menacingly okay. that. Why is Scooby um, killing that cat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Petra, so... As you're standing there, Ruh, like Ruh. thumbs downing them, rook points, and yeah, you get you start getting like swarmed and stung by bees, and a monkey dog starts chasing your uh, tiger, your kitty, all around <laughs> the room. Uh, can I mark a? Does this count as close quarter damage? Yes, this is close quarter damage. Yeah, I am adorable. Excellent. And even the bees know it. 
Excellent. Um, as, rolled really well! <laughs> as, as, um, the bees start stinging Petra, all of a sudden, Rook, you notice this. The others might not notice it because they're not as attuned to the bees as you are. But the bees are no longer stinging Petra. They are now just, like, rolling and rubbing themselves in Petra's fur. I am as so Petra soft. Petra is too soft and adorable to be resisted. To be resisted. <laughs> hey! The bees will no longer sting Petra. What? No. No. I rolled really well. this happen to me? I did take damage from it still. Like, I did get yeah. stung a okay, bunch okay, before okay. they stopped. Okay. They're yeah, just not no, going to do Petra, it anymore because I'm so fluffy. Petra was designed <laughs> to take... Yeah. Okay. Somebody else do something. I just did a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what were those umbrellas made of? Uh, yeah, they're sugar umbrellas. They're just like yeah. legitimately just sugar like, umbrellas. Literally sugar because I have that kind of money. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> uh <laughs> I am going to, so you are surrounded by, I, I assume they're moving the drips of sugar to not land on you, but you are surrounded by like a mass of melting sugar. I mean, now that you say it, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay. I am going to uh, hold my hands in sort of like a, a ninpo pose, and I'm going to whisper sugary violence. And then project uh, all of that sugar into like razor floss, I suppose, I and uh, just try to uh, basically three hundred and sixty attack you from. Uh, Calm down, Gara. I'm, I'm, God damn. I'm sorry, man. I saw it, I saw it coming. I, I put that on the back burner for several. <laughs> oh yes. I'm sorry, okay, but. Uh, oh yeah, the I'm bees are still there. They're petting me. Uh, sacrifices I mean, must be made. <laughs> Filthy traitors. <laughs> part of me doesn't love I'm that, wrong. but part of me is like a little. <laughs> um, he's not wrong. Yeah, no. Uh, do you do you want to roll to increase impact, or do you just want to use the whisper on its own? Uh, I'm definitely going to flourish using grace okay. because i am unleashing like so many strands of cutting death here yeah please roll for me i'll roll petra's brace in the background uh, i believe that's four do i roll it uh, yeah the whispers for impact for sure okay that's pretty impactful oh. <laughs> that's that's triple sixes, my man. You, you nice. got better than that. Oh my gosh! Nice. That's the number of the beast right there. You're dead. Jesus, um, the beast is unleashed. So, Rook, your bees are going to take some damage. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. But they died a sugary death. That's all they could ask for. They yeah. died the way they lived. <laughs> sugary, um, sweet, sugary, and adorable, sweet, sweet as honey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, you're. So, do you want do you want to describe the scene, Jason? What what happens to Petra? Um, I'm gonna say that she's equal parts encased now in like a statue of hardened sugar, where she's still able to breathe and but not able mm. to move. Okay, and is otherwise just sticky, frozen. Uh, her her coat has been slashed to to pieces and is now stuck to her in sort of like a tar and feather looking sort of way. Uh, and otherwise, yeah, you're just now a very gaudy candy statuette. <laughs> Permanently Awkwardly stuck, buzzing thumbs down from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, He's on the sides. I'm gonna. Uh, what's what's the twist? Because you got you got a twist in there. I have a twist if nobody has a twist. Oh, he hit us. Hit okay. us again. Um, yeah, no, The as you hit everyone with sugar, the goons take the umbrellas that, like, because the umbrellas are now just poles with nothing on them, like, no, no mm. cover for the umbrella, and they see that you all are, like, actively attacking Petra, 
and the goons will all start swarming you guys and just smacking you with these they're basically like a baseball bat like a metal like pipe or and like the scary goons will start like trying to bite you and claw at you and do scarier things and yeah you guys are getting fully attacked everyone take two points of damage oh no Um, and then Petra, what are you doing as you're stuck in this sugary mess? <laughs> Probably not fuck. much. Hey! Um, <laughs> Sorry, I just had to. That's it, guys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Critical <laughs> hits in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, was that was that said in character? Was that a verbal? The verbal Looks attack. Like did I did I hear it, that? No, you, that you, I say, got you say you say it in you say it in the Connery. She's been petrified. <laughs> That's a bad Connery, um, but you get it. <laughs> so I can I'm gonna throw in another evil laugh there because of the pun. <laughs> um yeah, when you when she marks evil laugh, everyone's gonna take one point of Meyer. Oh my god. As as you like she's laughing through all this pain. It's terrifying. There are worse things than dying. To throw out another whisper there. Hmm. Um, so What's stuck here, laughing at this silliness, the the sugary ridiculousness. Um, I oh shoot, how does how should this happen? The let's say a sort of back door opens and a mad scientist comes in holding the disc that you want and it's, holding it okay, out. Wait, wait, hold up. Yeah. This, this mad scientist comes in holding a, like above their hand head with two hands, this like platter. And on top of the platter is a working transformers DVD original box set translated into low sow. That is the chart that we are, you are currently fighting over. Yay. Just, just for the listeners, so they know. Um, and so, just, there are worse things than dying. How would you like me to break this in front of your eyes, while you can do nothing to stop me? That gives me a sinking feeling, and the floor under you just goes out. Oh no. <laughs> Send I use my whisper, a sinking feeling. Felt I love you. Yeah. That was so good. <laughs> just express trip right to the contractor. <laughs> We're just, we just keep using all of our whispers in like pun related circumstances. <laughs> we all just played off of each other uh, in this conversation. Isn't that just the point of a whisper is to be a cosmic pun? Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. The and universe I, and I can't you. stress enough. I cannot stress yeah. enough. Petra is not dead. Just, you know. Yeah. A floor or two down. Yeah. Pet <laughs> Petra <laughs> falls. Candy shell. So, like, all Not of a sudden the floor gives out below Petra, and all the cushions and Petra just fall, and they land a floor below, and Petra's just sitting on top of her cushions, a, pet a floor below. Yeah. So does that Rick, impact... Rick, do, do crime! <laughs> does that impact shatter my sugary prison? Yes, yes. You are free. Your limbs are free. Cool. But you are you are now a floor below, so you can't you can't quite see. Are you guys are you guys gonna try to escape as I'm gonna try and get the box set. Now that was behind me, so it would like it would yeah, be that, that across has... the pit that has now been created in the floor. Yeah, that's on the I other side of the I have a grappling pit. gun. This is not a problem <laughs> for me. <laughs> I grappling hook over to that box set, and if I can kick the scientist in the face while I'm at it? Yes, okay, do okay. It. Kick the scientist. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I look and over, she's... suddenly there's a tiny G sound on my shoulder, like, ah! <laughs> and she's doing that. I'm scared that off. Or, like, Stab him to take his wallet. <laughs> and make sure that the hook lands where she needs it to. You're going to use what, sorry? The, the bird to make sure her hook lands oh, where bird. it needs it to. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, roll vault. <laughs> shooting grappling gun and Burgess grabs the hook midair and daintily places it for me. <laughs> yes. gives, gives, me a, gives me a little thumbs up and flies off. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, okay. no, uh, roll, roll vault with advantage. Yeah. Yeah. I also yeah. yeah the and grappling an hook extra, is so literally advantage. the tree conflicts is, is triumphs. So yeah, and so double advantage. So so wait. So how many dice is that? That's I got four one dice. For vault. Four dice. One for vault. One for an edge, and two for double advantage. Okay. Uh, blah, blah. Oh no. I don't know what number that is because it's a symbol on that dice. <laughs> I have to see if that's the one. It's the six. Okay, it's the six. <laughs> I got a six. Uh, I got a oh a um, six with a twist. Nice. Ooh, six with a twist. I uh, please tell us what happens, Brooke. Um, I yeah, I do the whole thing where I I shoot my my um my grapple hook gun and then the bird catches it and just places it. I Indiana Jones swing across the chasm. Suddenly the theme music is playing for some reason, <laughs> possibly coming from the pinball machine, which is weird because it's not an Indiana Jones pinball <laughs> machine. But you know, and I land like perfectly again, kind of Indiana Jones, like on the shoulders of the scientist guy reach down be like i'll be taking that and then i kick him in the face as like the way to propel myself back across the chasm <laughs> to my friends and like you know like sling back the gun into its holster all like smooth that's yeah yeah Blow uh, on it, you... even though it's it's a it's a hook gun <laughs> there's nice. no gunpowder i simp <laughs> I, I am i am losing my mind All right. Okay, boys. Nope. Let's get out of here, but also take some of her stuff. <laughs> and also, the the door is still closed, and there's still a lot of scary goons. Yeah, the scary goons are still. still attacking you guys. You guys are all going to take another point of damage as the scary goons continue to attack you. Um, am I still riding the high of that swing? Yeah. Okay. Sure. I wave walk leap using the crocodile man as a step to get over to the door. <laughs> He's had a hard enough life. Come on. <laughs> that's a direct reference, guys. Um, that's part of it. And I, I start trying to jimmy that lock. Or get just crack that door open with, with whatever You're just I got. Smashing the door down. Um seeing seeing all of this, like I can see bits of it going on through the hole in my ceiling yeah. now. I mean, you um, can pop up here too. You're a rabbit. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a oh, rabbit. I Covered in candy coating. No, it, it like broke Skittle. apart upon the impact. <laughs> it's just loosely clinging to my very, very soft fur now. Um, yeah. mm, I hop up, but like Cold on the on the far side, so I'm not in direct line of sight because what is a scary villain if not not wanting to get in the direct line of fire. Um, yeah. And seeing that the tides have sort of started to turn, they have my my treasure. I'm sort of laughing even more maniacally in like an insane kind of way, like not a scary way, just like, like I'm going crazy now because this is not going mm. to plan. And I start screaming, just, where are the rest of my goons? Bring them out here now. Stop those traitors i don't know why excellent. you're traitors you were never on my side okay. but <laughs> uh, excellent everybody i assume you're just you're gonna mark all your things yeah oh yeah i am throwing okay. Okay. everything i can um, at them right now so as oh so can i throw something into to that as it's happening? uh just wait just wait okay. just wait i'll wait i'll wait okay <laughs> uh go ahead uh petra hmm? is you're we'll marking just... all your things yeah. yeah, I'm getting the rest of my goons and the rest of my scary goons. Um, and did did the mad scientist is he dead or unconscious? Kicked in um, the face. He's he's crawling away, going, I'm just a lowly worker guy. What are you doing? Can, <laughs> um could we say that he was unconscious? Because then I could add in another thing. Okay. Yeah. No. He he's like I'm just a lowly worker guy, and as the door opens for some of your goons to come in, he gets hit in the face yes. with the door and falls <laughs> unconscious. 
So I look over and like watching my goons come in, notice that he's been knocked unconscious and use my dreams kill and say he might just be dreaming now, but my dreams can kill as everything's flying out. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm going to say this is going to hit you guys hard. So first of all, that maniacal laugh, that like terrifying, like I'm not winning, but I'm still laughing. Everyone's going to take another point of mire. This is this is a hard hitting episode. Jokes on you. I can't. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Um, okay, now can I do the thing I was going to do? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. And then so so goons like there were some goons and some scary goons in this room. All of a sudden, doors and trap doors and ceiling doors and all sorts of things start opening. And an infinite amount of goons and scary goons start pouring in here to swarm you guys and pin you down. Everyone take three points of damage. And then the building collapses. And you guys are currently, like, there is no visible way to escape anymore as you're just getting pinned down in goons. Okay, good session. <laughs> like you, you guys can escape, but like you don't see an easy way out. Any like it's not like you're just gonna hit the door and go like you were planning on it because the door's now just goons. As far as the eye can see, <laughs> <laughs> they're rippling muscles. What, what about what about the big sky matching thing? Yes, there is That's still, still there. a giant open sky ceiling. You're right. Okay, I whistle. There. And the bees. Ooh, the bees. Yeah. Um, Our beasties. Excellent. The Boys. beasties are coming. They, the, <laughs> the beasties are, are coming. They are a coming. Cool. They'll be here soon. But you have and, to hold out until they get here. And I may. this might be too little too late. I knew I should have done this earlier, but she fell through a hole. I mean, like, I guess I'm no longer trying to, to jimmy open the door. Who, who of my allies is physically the closest to Petra? I'm on who the wants- other side of... I climbed out on the far side of the hole. That's okay. Who who wants to be closest... Like, who wants to be closest to the hole? Who, want, who wants to be within, <laughs> within striking distance of Petra? Belt will be in striking distance of Petra. Excellent. Um, I grab the bar of soap I've had this whole time and I chuck it towards him and I, in my best terrible connery, say, time to wash her mouth out with soap. And I <laughs> toss you the soap. So pretty bad. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> Bear in mind, we've never seen James Bond. We don't know what it is. <laughs> No, <laughs> nobody's seen At James all. Bond. That's the point. <laughs> He's For a, a moment, spy. Channel the spirit of one of your ancestors, the legendary Seanery Sean Connery. Connery. <laughs> no, I don't want that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Seanery Con. Can I? Can I go with Pierce Brosnan? <laughs> yes. Yay! He seems nice. Excellent. Um, Pierce Brosnan. Uh, Belt, you you catch this bar of perfect soap. What are you doing with it? Yeah, I guess I'm gonna try to wash uh, her mouth out with soap. <laughs> I, I I I I don't get it, but okay. <laughs> are are you throwing it at her? Are you trying to pin her down? What what's your what you doing? Let's see. Delves way ten volt. Dizzying heights. All right. So, uh, Belt is going to try to vault onto the rabbit. Okay. Okay. And, uh, just do something with the soap. <laughs> Following instructions <laughs> as literally as possible. Shove it down her throat. That's, that's, the, that's the main thing. Stop the laughter. That's my goal. Mm. So, yeah, you're, you're going to shove, you're going to vault and shove soap down her throat. Roll vault. Roll away. The, uh, oh boy. Expl- right, so I'm going to use tides for exploration, learning, and lore. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm using iron. Force, determination, and willpower. And vault. 
And I have a thing of soap. Excellent. So that would be three. It's a thing of I'll perfect stick with soap. Three. Oh, a thing of perfect soap. Yeah. All right. Boop. Three, six, five. Three, six, five. Perfect. So that'll be a uh, success. So yeah, you you manage to you don't fully manage to pin Petra down, but you do manage to like hit Petra and just shove this bar of perfect soap in her mouth. It's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, Petra, what do you? As this bar of soap hits your mouth, um. It's perfect. It is the it is the perfect <laughs> bar of soap. Like there is no bar of soap that's ever been this perfect. I don't know This bar of this bar of soap actually tastes like it smells. Yes. Wow. Exactly. And we have a lot of bees on our ship, so there's yeah. probably something and honey. Yeah, mm. it is it is delightful. It is like if this show, if if this was an episode of Is It Cake, it might be cake. <laughs> it um yeah. So because it tastes so good, I'm probably not immediately spitting it out of my mouth. But I no. am also still adorable. Oh, and you have made, you have made I, contact yeah, with me. We, we described you as being slashed, tarred, and feathered. You probably got mat- matted fur. It's covered in sticky honey. Are yep. we sure still about so- that? However, she still yes, has... but she still has those cute rabbit eyes. Yep. I still have those cute rabbit eyes They're and those cute rabbit ahead. ears. Petra is going to mark her last point of adorable. And, um, Belt, you're overcome with the urge to just sit there and pet her and no longer be physically violent. Uh, I'm just as so long snuggly. as she, as long as she is okay with it, Belt will continue to, <laughs> will, uh, will pet. <laughs> um, is, so is okay while I'm, it? even, even yeah, in I'm, a fight, consent is important to everybody. True. <laughs> it is true. So I'm being, I'm Wait. being petted now. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna let that happen so I can spit the soap out of my mouth and no it's in there something uh, Belt will just Belt will catch <laughs> it in his all right ah. for this. and I'll say he'll say around the soap like okay a direct kiss cool <laughs> <laughs> um and yell after you're towards my 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 kitty um. Mm-hmm. Look after that ardent. See that some harm comes to her. Okay, Scraps is all over that. Uh, yeah, and so roll. My, my blue ring tiger is specifically targeting Rook now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to roll for an attack on Rook. What Let's kind of attack? So it's going to be a five with a twist. As the blue ring tiger attacks, um, attempts to attack you, Rook. I assume uh, Scraps is going to get in the way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Scraps is going to take two points of damage as he's poisoned by this little tiger. That's just like it's now clinging onto it. All eight little suction cups are dug into his side. And this kitty is just holding on to his back and just its mandibles have again split apart on the bottom jaw and it's just hissing like <laughs> So cute. Mm. Such See, a I told you pet. we'd get a new pet. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Seeing that it didn't immediately drop scraps, I'm just uh, one day we must invent a faster working venom. <laughs> um You know. Oh, rude. I'm some much of a uh, venom maker myself. <laughs> <laughs> Not okay with it. Is, is Scraps close by to me? Like, can I? Yeah, him? he can get close to you. Yeah. Okay. Do I just go over there and start wailing on the kitty with my gun? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I don't think you're allowed to go, oh, after you sent it over to do the thing. You sent it to kill my puppy. I'm going to wail on this with my gun. I don't have a bucket of water handy, so forget <laughs> the gun. 
<laughs> so then I start blasting. Rook, remember I'm allowed the to be hypocritical. Function? I'm a villain. But the, <laughs> remember the secret function of the grappling gun? I mean, at this I point, can't. I just feel rage. But then I go, oh, yeah. And I turn it on. It's an okay. electric grapple gun. Oh, but dear. I don't want to hurt scraps. Although yeah, scraps that's wouldn't that be works. used to my experimentation by now. Okay. Um, uh, I'm calling you can animal hit services. This, <laughs> you can hit this blue ring tiger with your volt gun if you want to. Yes, please. Okay. Deals You're going to take this, this blue ring tiger is going to go down. Scraps <laughs> is going to take a point of damage as he gets a little bit electrocuted because obviously he's touching the tiger. Yeah. Um, but the, the tiger is going down. The tiger is fully down. They I tie are... up the tiger with my silk rope. Yeah. <laughs> and keep it. Um, <laughs> are you you stealing this tiger? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I, I distinctly <laughs> animals every day. First time you introduce this thing, <laughs> I want one. Are they friends? Are Try they to steal food? our stuff. How she like it? Uh, excellent. Um, Lucky rabbit's foot in my butt. Uh, someone roll me a d6. Uh, you want me to? Or? Flashing anyway, my iguana the whole time. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. I'll treat you so much better. <laughs> better than she can. <laughs> uh, I got a four. My clothes will fit. My clothes will four? fit. Okay. It's okay. Um, you guys, someone, uh, someone can take one more action. Be it Petra or the crew. Actually, Petra gets one more action, and the crew gets one more action before the bees arrive. Hmm. So, Petra, what is your what is your action? As you you you're, I mean, you're sitting curled up in a slug's lap, getting petted, <laughs> but you're also you're looking pretty rough. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I am. Um, um, like, and my I, I know cat we're just more got ladies. kidnapped. Catnapped? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have Catnapped. liberated it from your violent ways. <laughs> Hopefully. So, so while, while, he, while he's petting <laughs> Petra, Belt's like, you know, I know that we're mortal enemies right now, but this could literally turn around at any moment. <laughs> it, it has. <laughs> um... Hmm. Trying to, so all the goons are still there. Yes. Uh, you do I know that goons. the do I know that the bees are coming? Like. Yeah, you can see them through the. Okay. Yeah, you can yell at your goons to do more goony things and do violence towards the crew if you want. I mean, I That's assume the that thing. they're currently doing okay. violence towards the crew. So yeah. like. Um. So am I, am I in danger of like permanently dying here? No, no. A character can't permanently die unless a player gives the a OK for that. Challenge accepted. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, Man. So con- unless, so consider. Un- unless your name is Austin, in which case your character permanently dies as soon as they take more than three points of damage. <laughs> Fires the cannons. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see here. I don't have I don't have a whole lot left. <laughs> um, you can just run. You good. can run away. It's it's okay to that's, run away. That's you could also just was... say. You could also just say. You know what? You can have it. <laughs> you could try. Yeah. We'll, we'll probably. The pin we'll probably <laughs> Yeah, just <laughs> just take all their things. Just be like, it's yeah, no, you know what? Table. It's a trade. I was bored. That was good. We're good. <laughs> now that I've lost, yes, I will take all of your stuff. <laughs> Get out of my house. Let's go, Patches. Let's do this. I love it. I love it. Yeah, let's. You know what? Yeah, yeah. I just stand up. I'm like, fine. You know what? I'll take that soap. Was great. I'll take it. Leave the pinball machine. Leave the spice. Get out of my house. <laughs> Yeah. Deal. I like the soap. I look at her with this dumbfounded blank rage, <laughs> and I'm like, "I told you, right? It's good soap." <laughs> Belt does boop the nose, and then he grabs the cask because she did not say to leave the cask, and then starts heading out while also pouring himself a glass. I'm still walking out with the pet or a mug. 
did That's my kid. She didn't. You didn't say anything about the damn cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is punishment for all is the damage. I am literally scarred. Yeah, There's no, a this in is my shield face. Oh. I've lost some spiders. Um, I'm it's for angry. Damages. Is, yeah, yeah, but is there there's literally the a hole in my living room. Come on now. Whose fault this is that? Is oh yeah, living? not cool, man. I mean, where well, else am I gonna live? It's that. a throne. I'm. That's <laughs> no couch can live up to this. rooms. Petra, I have. Or, uh, 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 I'm. I'm doing names. Uh, Caitlin. Yes. What it, it, is there art on the wall? <laughs> oh. Like, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. we're already there. Yeah. Okay. okay, there's so much. Okay, art. <laughs> so Belt is about to like leave. He stops. He turns and he looks at it, and he like walks over to like the closest piece of art. Or no, he he you know he slugs over to it, <laughs> dips his thumb into his drink, and then signs his name on the art, <laughs> and then goes. There's a belt original for you, <laughs> and then takes off. I, I, I like leave behind the ghost post address if she ever needs to talk to us again. It's just <laughs> drifting in the wind behind us on a leaf. <laughs> oh. I am excellent. The cat. So as we airlift, I, I'm assuming at this point we're airlifting out with the bees. And we're just getting <laughs> cheers from the kids and Docus on the board. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I just I just kind of turn to friends. And I'm just like, so, like, if we leave her alive, is that going to come back to bite us in the ass? Yes. I can't see a possible <laughs> way that The credits roll. <laughs> yeah, and on that note, uh, you guys head into the ship and sail off into the sunset, question mark. Um, and, yeah, Petra cleans themselves up. Does their thing, and licks her wounds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was seeing the down. firefly. <laughs> I, was, I, I was Austin the Liberator. <laughs> I'm I'm Rook the Bond apparently. <laughs> I'm uh, Dylan the Sinister Candyman. Uh, oh I'm, no. I, I wasn't I wasn't ready for this for this line. Uh uh I'm I'm Jonathan, the one who insists that we leave the villain alive so that we get a sequel. Really and, that sounds like you. <laughs> and our most wondrous guest star was I'm Caitlin, aka Doctor Evil, I mean Doctor No, I mean Goldfinger, I mean Petra Rabbit. Excellent. And we are sponsored by Nobody, signing off.